Um, so let's find a measurement of both angles. You might notice that the angles are on a straight line. So whenever anything is on two, the two angles are on a straight line. This is half a circle. We know that straight lines are supplementary. They're equal to 180 degrees. So that means that if you add both of the angles together, if you're adding them both together, they should be equal to 180 degrees. So I'm going to go over here and set up my equation. 4x plus 6x plus 70 equals 180. So the first thing I have to do is combine like terms because they're on the same side of the equal sign. You have 6x plus 4x, which is 10x, plus 70 equals 180. What you have right now is a two-step equation. So you subtract 70 from both sides. 10x comes down equals 110. You divide by 10 divide by 10 and you got that little trick there that you could cancel out the zeros and 11 over 1 is 11 so x is 11 so we're not finished we have to find the measurement of both angles so x is 11 so we are going to substitute in for this x and we're also going to substitute in for this x and get different uh, measurements for different angles this should be acute it should be less than much less than 90 this should be obtuse so I'm going to rewrite 4x on this side, and I'm going to times it by 11. So this should be 44 degrees. Then I'm going to rewrite this with 11 substituted in, and I'm going to get 66 plus 70. So just to make sure, 136 degrees. A way to check this would be just to go over here, 136 plus 44, and to make sure that you get 180 degrees. Because remember, it's a straight line. It's supposed to be 180 degrees. They're supplementary. That is exactly how you do that. Circle your answers. This angle is 44. This angle is 136. You are finished with this problem.